Hello and welcome to a, another update for how I've been coping since my HSCT treatment for primary progressive multiple sclerosis. It's now been two months since I returned from Moscow after 30 days of uh, receiving stem cell treatment, stem cell transplants treatment, and obviously the chemotherapy and everything that went with that. Um, my Recovery is going really, really well. Um, I was going to say my progression, but but of course, in terms of primary progressive multiple sclerosis, probably the wrong word. So my recovery is going really well. I feel stronger and physically better than I than I did before before I went to Moscow, which is absolutely fantastic. So my walking is is definitely better. I walked to the doctors this morning, um, which I'll talk about in a second, but. I walked to the doctor this morning. It's probably a fifteen-minute walk, just absolutely no problem at all. As if, as if you know, almost as if I didn't have MS. Um, and I walked back, and that wasn't a problem either. So uh, that was that was really good. My walking is really good. My general coordination is 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 I think marginally improved as well. My fingers are still broadly the same, um, and and uh, the need. For to urinate i wonder whether that's improved a little bit i think i said in a previous video that that i don't need to go in the middle of the night so much anymore so that's fantastic i think that's broadly the same so i think physically i'm actually in a better position than i was before i left now you might rush to the conclusion that that means the hsct has worked so that's going to be a short term working as my as my immune system is cleared out and and the question is whether that will maintain so will my immune system then have some residual kind of autoimmune um uh, sort of mechanisms or characteristics to it so that it'll start attacking itself again or will i will i remain as i am you know without without the ms sort of rearing its ugly head in a major way again that is yet to be yet to be known really so I, I haven't felt the HSCT roller coaster, so I haven't got worse before I get better. I think I've hit the ground running and my recovery is going really well. Cognitively, I think I'm about the same. So I still struggle with the short-term memory. I still struggle with uh, finding words on, on occasion. And fatigue, I think I still have, but I haven't been doing that much in order to, to recognize my fatigue. So I haven't been putting that much of a drain on my mind. Um, but I, but I certainly have been fatigued, you know, uh, from time to time. So it's a, it's a mixed bag, really. But I, but but I certainly haven't progressed uh, from where I was before I took my treatment. So I've definitely held held it there. Uh, and actually, I think I'm I'm probably here physically at the very least. So um, I, I'm really happy with with the way that my body has responded. Happy days. So that that's really good news. As you can see, my hair is growing back, and and as I said before, you know, I felt my facial hair was white. My facial hair is broadly white, especially at the sides, absolutely white. So when I I shave, you know, when I grow my my facial hair, it, it just comes through as a straggly white whiteness. And actually, my head hair is white, although it might look a little darker. But actually, if you look closely, I don't know. Let's have a look at my facial hair. So you can see that's broadly quite fair and white. But I think that might darken as time goes on. And and the hair on my head, considering I should be a dark auburn with flecks of distinguished grey, I'm basically blonde to white now. And that's going to be the effect of the chemotherapy, which changes people's hair in, in its regrowth in many different ways. So it can go curly, it can go really thin and fine, it can go change colour. You know, you do hear of people going going blonde and, and what have you. And I think I, I'm in that category where, where my hair is, is white to blonde. Um, uh, but it is, as you can see, growing back. So again, things are just returning to normal. As far as how I've been treating my body and my the way I'm operating on a daily basis, I have, again, similar to how I said in the last video, I've just basically returned to normal. And I think I've probably done that fairly quickly. So that's really good. Um, 
uh, I, I, I don't know whether I'm taking risks. So I'm out in the garden, I'm, you know, varnishing, decking, you know, putting wood, wood stain down and doing all the things that I'd normally do. And although I might struggle to do the finer DIY things, you know, around the house, I am, I am doing stuff. Okay, I won't do it all at once. I do it in, in, in segments and just, you know, don't, don't do, don't overdo it. But as far as things like germs and immunity are concerned, I'm, I'm essentially treating myself as if I was completely normal. So I think I've got over the whole chemotherapy thing. Fingers crossed. Of course, you can't feel your immunity. You can't feel your immune system. But I'm, but I'm treating it as if I, I, I'm okay there. And, uh, uh, I, you know, you wear plastic gloves or whatever uh, to go to do the gardening. And I'm probably a little bit more careful there. But, but generally, yeah, just treating, treating my body fairly much as if it's, as if, as if I'm perfectly fine, which, which can only be a, a good thing unless I get a, an infection. Um, I'm going to have some bloods done in a couple of weeks. Th those will be um, to, to sort of see how uh, I'm getting on, obviously, with my bloods, given a, a bigger gap. So, you know, that's a couple of months after having my previous bloods taken. And I'm seeing my um, neurologist next week. So I've seen my MS nurse and a couple of times and she's absolutely ecstatic with how things are going. It's really fab that people are sort of following my journey as far as sort of videos and blog uh, are concerned. And, you know, I don't think there are many people with PPMS who have maybe, you know, gone down this, this, this route. Um, and so hopefully I'm providing at least some useful information for, for people with PPMS as well as with relapsing remitting, of course. So uh, that that's all, everything's just going really well. I'm just uh, ticking along, um, uh, you know, driving, I was driving fairly early. Uh, you, you know, my body's just returned to normality. So, uh, with with that comes comes all the things that you would normally do um yeah i mean sometimes i i feel i don't have to get up and go you know that's the ms kind of fatigue thing whereby i just want to you know sit around and and do not a lot so i've got i've got to make sure that i motivate myself to 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 do things um and not just um you know sit back in my recovery um, yeah, so re really happy with how, how I am and how things are improving. Um, and I don't particularly have any other sort of symptoms or, or side effects to, to talk about just other than a general physical improvement and probably a cognitive stasis, um, which is, you know, you don't want to you don't want to get any worse. So as long as I'm not getting worse, that's a win. And if I get better, that's a bonus. And it looks like I physically got better. People are saying as well, what's quite interesting. So I went into school yesterday, so I'm a teacher. And I went into school to have a meeting, uh, to join a staff meeting and met loads of staff. And they're like, oh, you're looking so much better. You're looking better, you know, more color, more full in the face, whatever. And just generally stronger and fitter than before you went off uh, to have your treatment. In other words, I look better than I previously did in terms of my MS, not in terms of my treatment for with HSCT. So there, a lot of them aren't comparing me to when I first came back with that with, from Moscow, having had my treatment, but they're comparing me to how I was before I had my treatment. And and if they think I I seem more physically fit and able, then that's brilliant because because that's a like for like comparison, really to, to you know the before and after. Um, so that, so that that's really made me happy, uh, and I, I'll keep you updated with with anything else that that, that might be relevant. Ob obviously, with the fact that I'm improving and and there isn't too much to tell you extra each time. 
So, uh, you know, there isn't a massive amount of difference from, from the last time. So I don't do as many videos or blog entries. Uh, and that's the reason why, because I actually I don't have too much to say on the matter because, because I'm just generally chugging along pretty well. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, put them either in the comment section on YouTube or on my blog. And please subscribe to the channel. Um, it'll be nice to get extra subscriptions. Yay! I hope this is of use. And if you, if you want me to talk about anything in particular, then let me know. Cheers. And until next time, goodbye.